From the Hal Leonard Adult Piano Method, Book 2, Unit 3, page 51. We're going to be learning our second major scale, the scale of G major. We already know the scale of C major, of course, and how it is made. And indeed, this applies to all major scales. So, for example, with the C, we move in the sequence tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. And we have a major scale. And that, of course, does work on all the keys. Every single key on the piano keyboard, you move in that way, you've got a major scale. Now, C is a very common major scale because it is all white notes. The scale of G, however, includes one black note, and you will see as I play it. So, to start on G, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. So, to go from the E to make a tone, you would need to play this black note, which is F sharp. And then from there, the semitone takes you back to G. So, basically, the notes of the G major scale, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. It is a very common key, a very common scale um, in the world of the piano and, surprise, surprise, it works in the left hand as well. So our fifth finger on G, so G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. How do we know we're playing in the key of G major? Because we know about key signatures and all um, pieces of piano music have a key signature. Um, C major has a key signature, but it is blank because it has no sharps or flats. However, the key of G major has one sharp, of course, the F. So it is denoted by a sharp sign on the top line in the treble clef, which is um, which is the F, which is the F line, the F is F sharp, and also the fourth line up in the bass clef, which is also an F. So this tells you that the piece that you are going to be playing is in the key of G major, and therefore all Fs must be played as F sharps. Just supposing that you weren't to sharpen these Fs. Supposing you were just to play in this key, you were to play the Fs as the F natural white note. It wouldn't sound right. It wouldn't make any musical sense at all, would it? Listen. It would sound quite all right, wouldn't it? But if I was to play the two major scales, you will see the similarity between the two, um, even though they sound slightly different in terms of pitch. But the similarity is there because of the sequencing of the notes. For example, this is the key of C major. And G major. So there are similarities, of course, the C scale starts here, the G scale starts there. So as of, um, as with all um, scales, it's the same with um, uh, the key of C, uh, we have primary or close position chords. So for G major, there is our root triad, G, B, D. 
Then we have C, which is G, C and E in this case. The three notes of the C major triad, back to G. And then we have D, which is F sharp, A and D. Remember, we are playing in G and so Fs must be sharpened. So it must be F sharp. And that is D. And then D7 is F sharp, C and D. So that's our home chord and then C, D, back home, D7 and back home. So it works again in the left hand. And we have a little exercise as well uh, to familiarise ourselves with the scale and the chord progressions. So I will put exactly what the um, what the closed chords are in the description box. But again, play this few play this through a few times, and you will soon familiarise your hands with how the close position chords work in this key, particularly, as I say, as you've got um, a black note in there. It's not all white notes. You've got the F sharp. So you have to familiarise yourself with the black note as well in this, in this key. So the exercise is at 108 quarter beats per minute. Try that again. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 